And she keep on looking on YouTube, you'll see another guy who says, I can sell a private bank for you in Cayman Islands. And you know, like, let me tell you why Cayman Islands is the best place on the planet. What's unique about their firm is they're part of a global alliance. So they can work with a client to say, where does it make sense for you to own a private bank license? And we will go set that up for you, right? So not for everybody is coming out this world. Some people it's better for them to be in New Zealand or somewhere else. And then if I want a 10 times multiplier, you know, can you go get me a bank license and structure it so I get a 10 times multiplier like that? Paul's company is. Well, first of all, who are you? I am a UK citizen, resident in Panama since 2008. My background is in telecommunications management. London, Hong Kong, South Pacific. Then I came to Cayman in the early 90s when everybody wanted to buy Latin American telephone companies. And we were fortunate enough to be able to invest in the organization of, of Intel Panama, which was the, the, the traditional <coughs> fixed line business. And, and I came in as part of the due diligence team. I have then stayed on as, as uh, the regulatory affairs, government relations guy, and then moved over to from VP uh, customer operations. And I had a great time. We, we, we learned a lot about Panama. We learned a lot about what not to do in Panama very quickly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but, but we got it right. We got it right. Uh, and we found a way to tap into the basic people that we have here. I'm no longer with cable and wireless. I came, I spent five years back in the UK. I came back to Panama, invited by a friend to help him run a business. I met Reynaldo and his partner, Luis Oscar. I have them as friends, uh, I, the company I work with in one of my manifestations is a client of, of, of Ronaldo's firm, and I've also worked for him in, in managing uh, client relations with the overseas businesses, doing business here in Panama. And the role is basically, I mean, Panama is complex and has its own particular way of doing things. Every national of every overseas country has their own set of expectations. And what I aim to do, what we aim to do as a, as, as a, as a business is to basically make sure you get the right answers every time and so you don't have to jump in and flail around and be disappointed. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of like the, the shock absorber and I've got some bruises to, to prove it. I came here in 1997. Since then we have had a revolution in transportation, in toll roads connecting Mm. the north coast, the south coast, mm. and at east and west. We've got a new international air terminal. Panama is now the hub of the Americas. The numbers of transit passengers that Reynaldo was talking about yesterday is from the north, from Mexico, through here, to all points south, and in South America and the Caribbean as well. Um, we're a natural geographical hub for sea communications, obviously through the through the canal. We also are an amazing hub for, for broadband international communications. And I, I can't count the number of cables that are in here and the number of cables that are coming through here, all points north to south, east to west. Panama has the US dollar. It has a pretty stable weather system, we get the odd earthquake, but we don't get wiped out by hurricanes or mudslides so much. This is the wet season, but we're doing as hay. Education is, uh, is to, a, to a, a, a senior level is, is good. Uh, English is widely used, not, not everywhere, but it's widely used. We have a number of concessions in terms of in, inviting investors to come and get <coughs> some money and get again residents and get citizens push in. There's good incentives for, for, for retirees as well. There are structures for 
overseas investors who want to come and place their their regional or global headquarters here. We have a number of big names in that space, and that's another service that we provide. Special economic service, free service for the, the, the movement of um, goods and cargo in and out of the country. And one thing that uh, Reynaldo is, is, is particularly hot on is structures. Structures to enable you to do exactly the kind of thing that, that we're talking about. He's a very busy man. He, he's kind of like, <coughs> he's a combination of you and him because <laughs> he's, he, he loves what he does. He loves Panama and he loves doing business, but he's also the guy, the go-to guy. Yeah. So, and unfortunately, there's only one of him. We need to find another one somewhere. And we also have a trust company, which is not a small part of what we do. It's an important part of what we are a firm of about 70 associates doing all the traditional professional services, legal, corporations, accounting, auditing, but we also do payroll. We, we provide a credit card service through the, the platform that Renato talked about yesterday. Now, if you're Renato, I'll ask you the same questions to ask. Yeah. Can you confirm that I'm a client of your firm? But since you know Ronaldo, I can't ask that question, but you know, can you confirm a client of your firm said I'm not GB, I should use it? Yes, no seconds. Thank you. Thank you. Hi friends, I now want to take a minute and answer some of your frequently asked questions. One of the common questions I get a lot is, Tamar, we've learned a lot from you through your YouTube channel. How do we learn more? Uh, can we fly down and meet you, meet your team? And the answer to all of that is yes, yes, and yes. If you want to learn more, my first invitation is to become a member of Alphonse Global. You simply go to our website, alphonseglobal.com. You sign up to become a member for free. You get access to webinars, offshore events that we do, and content that we never, ever, ever, ever publish on YouTube. I promise you that it's worth becoming a member for sure. The second way that you can learn a lot is I'm a published author. Structured financing, demystified, hyper growth, just multiple books on Amazon that you can get access to. I highly recommend uh, going and checking out some of these books, uh, getting engaged into some of, some of the stuff that strategies and, and tactics that we're using for ourselves, for our families, for our friends. You definitely want to check these things out for sure. Another question, I guess, Timo, why are you so passionate about getting a bank license? Why is that so important? Well, the truth is, our mission within Alphonse Global is to help businesses become self-funded for life. Imagine, imagine you run a coffee shop and I run a coffee shop. Imagine we buy the coffee beans from the same drawer and my coffee shop is right across yours, like really right across yours. Our competition is probably nil. And, but, but if you have a bank license and I don't have a bank license, and let's say I made $500,000 and you made $500,000 in income, but if you have a bank license, you are depositing a bank license with a central bank of the country where you own your own private bank license. Let me repeat this again. You are depositing your money with a central bank of the country you have your bank license on. So $500,000 deposited with the central bank should give you a line of credit of 10 times multiple. So that means you get a line of credit of $5 million. Now it's not free money, it's a line of credit of $5 million. Now, if you draw that entire money out and you go to whichever country you're currently resonating in, the country you're doing business with, and you know in real estate, you wanna buy a house, you put 20% down and you get a loan for 80%, same thing. You put $5 million down with a business plan to your local bank, who were your bank with, and say, hey, I want to grow my business, my technology business, real estate business, pharma school business, what a business it is. I'm a venture capitalist. I'm putting $5 million down. Your bank gives you a loan at four, four times more, so now you get a $20 million loan. Now, it's not free money. It's not free money. It's $20 million loan. What can you afford to do with $20 million that I cannot afford to do with $500,000? Could you, could you invest in artificial intelligence? Could you invest in hiring better people? Could you invest in advertising? How, with that amount of money, could you even buy auxiliary businesses or invest in auxiliary businesses? I say you can, and that's why we within Alphonse Global are so passionate in helping clients become self-funded for life, and getting a private bank license is one of the vehicles 
that I am personally very passionate about helping clients on. Another question, I guess, Timur, you charge a consultation fee. Offense Global, all, all, you know, the team charges a consultation fee. Why do you charge a consultation fee when you guys can make so much money on the back end? It somehow inhibits those me now from taking a credit card and paying you money for it. Well, here's the truth. We offer our content, millions and millions of dollars worth of content complete for free on YouTube. We don't advertise as of the date of doing this video. We don't advertise on YouTube, Google, or we don't do any kind of advertising of, of all at all. And what we find is the volume of traffic that goes into YouTube attracts people that are tire kickers, people that are frosters, people that have mental health issues. When we charge a small consultation fee, this deters the, the, the hacker, the, the froster, the person who's shopping around the target. It just it eliminates all that and it allows me and my team to be on calls or meetings with customers we actually want to do business with. What a concept. Now comes this is better. At the time of doing a transaction with a client, that fee they pay for a consultation call, we refund it. At the conclusion of us doing a transaction with a client, we refund 100% of all the monies that they paid on consultation fees. This allows us to work with people that are committed to working with us, are serious about working with us, are not tire kickers, are not people that are like they don't know what banking 101 is and they're there to waste our time and energy. This just eliminates that and me and my team are really proud of doing that. Next question I guess, Tamar. The alternative funding industry overall has a lot of fraudsters in it, has a lot of deep fake in it. What are you doing to protect us, protect yourself? Uh, so here's the answer to that. Any industry, any industry that has a lot of money by default attracts a lot of fraud. Let me say this again. Any industry that attracts a lot of money by default attracts a lot of fraud. I don't know who you bank with. If you bank with one of the top 20 banks in the world, pick a bank you a bank with, or you use payment processing companies like PayPal, these companies see a lot of fraud every day from fraudsters mimicking their website to mimicking their email addresses and in cases like mine, once a year or twice a year some idiot, excuse my language, decides to copy my picture on social media, tries to create a fake profile of me and goes on social media uh, selling scammy transactions. Now, we have the technology and the resources to catch that usually within 72 hours of that happening and then cause legal action against that fraudster. We have the financial resources tango to do that today, but that's just the nature of this industry. So what we do to protect ourselves is we never solicit on social media anything, nor do we solicit in general. We offer a lot of educational materials, but we don't solicit. You'll never see me or any of my associates on, on any social media trying to sell anything ever. Second, all transactions that we do, money always has to go through a reputable law firm. All transactions we do, money always has to go to a reputable law firm. No, we never ask the client to send us money or anything like that. Now, I do want to take a minute, I do want to take a minute and talk a little bit about my competitors. In the United States, in the US alone, uh, US has 3% of the world's population and they have over 60% of the world's lawyers. In the USA, this is a fact, of 3% of the world's population and over 60% of the world's lawyers. I have a lot of legitimate competitors in the USA and around the world and around the world that unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, have been sued for wrongful, wrongful things that other people have done. Uh, there's a lot of negative stuff on social media or websites about some of my legitimate competitors. And I want to tell you that a lot of my competitors are legitimate, they're hardworking people. I know them, they deliver real, real results. And unfortunately, they have negative comments or fraud or even uh, losses against them. The reason within Alphonse Global doesn't have a lawsuit against it or me, Tamer Zaman, don't have a lawsuit against me or people on social media saying that we're fraudsters or something like that is simply because of my lack of vision. Every company you deal with, every com major company you deal with, whether it's the cars you drive, um, Ford, Lexus, uh, I, I don't know, GM, or Facebook, Google, YouTube, whatever you use, or med medicine you, you have, like Tylenol, but all of these companies have lawsuits against them. A lot of the companies you work with have legations against them as just part of the growth. At some point, the business needs to grow exponentially, and that's when you have to see lawsuits as just the nature of the business growing. 
the fact that we don't have it is because of my lack of vision as a CEO and like trying to bark a tree like that. Now, I see that changing as we buy businesses that have other CEOs, as we grow, we have over 800 registered brokers with us. As that number grows, it's not normal for our business to continue growing without some idiot calling us froster, some idiot trying to sue us, or something like that. If you want to take advantage of the ultimate funding industry, I'm going to tell you this industry I love. I'm going to tell you this is an industry that I've made a lot of money with. I'm going to tell you this is an industry I've helped a lot of clients make a lot of money with, friends and family make a lot of money with. And if this is an industry you want to get involved in, I recommend uh, you know, meeting the people you want to do business with, like physically flying out to meeting them. If you can afford to, if you can afford to hire an investigator, uh, we use a lot of former FBI, former CI people. These are people you can hire to do background checks. Uh, you know, it's not only do these people have lawsuits or not, or other, you know, losers calling them frosters or not. I'm telling you a lot of my comparators are really good people, and they're not frosters. Uh, so, like, do your own due diligence. Uh, listen to your intuition. We're really interested in working with some really good people that are vision-driven entrepreneurs that really want to serve the world. And uh, I think we have some things that are really amazing to offer. Another question I get is, Tamor, you know, we love all the services of Funds Global. What are the top three services you offer that we should really seriously think about, call you or your organization, and get you guys involved? But my, my favorite service, the one that makes a lot of sense, is the Trusted Advisory Service. This is when we become your remote, your chief banking officer. We work with your CFO, your legal team, who you are the CEO, the COO, we look at where your organization is, where you want it to be. We look at banking programs that make sense for your type of business that are proven and would work to generate access to alternative revenue sources for your business that makes sense. From that, we then create offshore tax structures, offshore bank accounts, offshore bank licenses for your organization so the revenue gets generated has a channel to go to that is well protected. We have a lot of domain expertise that I do not, sh I do not share ever on YouTube. You know, it's not like a lawyer who's like, go create a uh, trust account in Cook's Island. Like, like we don't do, we do some very sophisticated, very sophisticated stuff that uh, I'm very proud of. That's our intellectual property. Uh, and so the, the trusted advisory services, where we become a trusted advisor, is the, one of the things that I would recommend everybody to look at. It's a monthly retainer, you pay for it, but let me tell you, for every penny you put in to that, you get tens of dollars out of it, and I just, I, I think you're not gonna get this amount of expertise dedicated to your business. So, so that's something I would recommend you to think about and, and sign up for. Second one is if you're looking for access to capital, we have a lot of unique programs like Rent a Rich Uncle uh, that we can support your organization as long as your organization is a successful business and not a startup, not somebody who's going bankrupt, it's a successful business that has real cash, real assets, and is generating something real that's real growth. I think we have some uh, uh, avenues for accessing capital that others simply cannot offer. And the final one that I love is we have a lot of asset management structures that are very unique to our intellectual property that I'd love to share with you. If you have assets, you wanna grow, you wanna get bank lessons, you wanna set up a trust, you wanna work with multiple central banks, do some really cool stuff. I think I'm the only weirdest person uh, that has real expertise and experience in doing in, in doing this stuff. And so my name is Tamers, I'm from Alphonse Global. Thank you for following us up on YouTube if you're doing that. Thank you for trusting me, thank you for trusting my team. And on behalf of me, my team, I just really wanna say thank you and we look forward to the opportunity of serving you.